interview with Gunner Mini. First question. What percentage of runs are actually allowed to your own mistakes? I assume it's just 5% at most. You are a real pro. Uh, I mean, I don't know, dude. I actually lost two runs to something stupid the last time I streamed that were my fault. It's hard to be, hard to be perfect. Second question, do you make more errors when you're tired, like chess players? Uh, I definitely make more errors when I'm tired, for sure. The loss of weight helps you with your streams, like being in shape allows you to focus more hours. No, honestly. I wouldn't say that. What's helped me with streams is practicing more, having a better attitude slash mindset, but I don't think weight loss has directly like impacted my stream. I don't care at all how old you are, but what age limit would you put your running career? Quite personal question, but let's see what he has to say. What age limit would you put to your running career? I mean, do you mean real life running or speed running? Of course, I meant speed running. And I told him so. Let's just wait for it. There he is. Speed running, dude. That's a really weird question. Why would there be an age limit? In case you get tired, I want you to keep up, by the way. Yeah, some people saying something to me, discussing the issue about esports and speedrunning in chat. So let's keep going. Does speedrunning improve your everyday life? For example, being more, effect more efficient in other stuff or just better decision making? Let's see. Mm, kind of. Definitely apply a speedrunning logic to some real life stuff. We do a 330 run in, in just one go, with no risk if your life dependent on it. Three and a half hours. Uh, absolutely, yes, Alvara. Thank you. Again, some people talking about me. What are you planning? Somebody asked, and also, this is the content I never knew I needed, so you're welcome. You didn't have pizza for dinner, right? No, I didn't have pizza. I had chicken... Oh, piccata. Talking about how he spent San Valentine's Day with her girlfriend. His girlfriend. And mussels as an appetizer. The mussels were crazy. So how come you don't travel abroad? Europe might want to see your life. I live in Europe. I never said I didn't want to travel. Are there any high-level female runners? How come? I'd like to watch too. Are there any high-level female runners? Bro, there's barely any high-level male runners. Though more than... than, uh... past years, for sure. One girl could take over if she was good. Are you going to stream drunk sometimes, or that's just not worth your time? Uh, I sometimes I do some, some, some drinking on stream. I didn't know. Not today, though. I drank all day yesterday. I'm good. 
He's talking about how he spent St. Valentine's Day with his girlfriend. Alcohol is risky, true. Absolutely. Right now you only have one world record, Lee Green, but still four second places. I truly think these results make you the best in the world. Do you agree? He's too humble to agree. I never used to drink when I smoked, ever. Wait, we're still on that topic? Wait a moment. Now. Actually, no. So if you assign a point value to... So like fifth place is worth one point, fourth place is worth two points, etc. To every Gen 1 through 3 category that I've run, I'm still only second best. Now, to be fair, that is heavily impacted by my fourth. Uh, sorry, seventh in red. All right. So he's second in the world, not first one. Whatever. No, we're talking Gen 1 through 3 only. Now I go again. I know there are like other four top level contenders, Worcester, Pokeguy, Exerion, H1 Pro. But you are also by far the most entertaining. That also counts. Are you proud of having that talent apart from your pure gaming skills? Dude, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to include Wave Warrior in that equation. He's got Crystal and Gold. Okay, he's talking about the names. And competitive Gen 1 times. I don't think you can leave his name out of that. But now he'll give his take about talent. He'll give his take. Let's just wait for it. A weighted system. Now. Um... I wouldn't call it I have talent, though, but I am proud of what I've accomplished in speedrunning him. Again, so humble. Yeah, but he's only fourth in yellow, but I mean, okay, I mean, if you want to get... I'll go asking some blunt ass questions today, as someone in town. Okay. I think Gunnar is the most entertaining. That's a lot to me. That's true. Pokemon speedruns could be a legitimate esport. Like knockout races where bug up strats would matter a lot. Would you compete live all over the world? I mean, obviously, if if this if Pokemon Speedrunning became bigger, I would I would definitely compete live. Well, let's keep going. Someone said, Alvaro, where can I read the paper you are writing? It's not a paper; it's just a video. And I'm just super curious. Sorry, guys. Just in case I was asking too much. Of course I was. What combat RNG makes you lose the most runs? The normal damage range or the specific critical hit probability? Super hard question, but of course, Mirror Maniac knows what I'm talking about. Let's see. Uh, damage rolls or crits? What kills you more? Definitely crits. And missing. We know about Articuno, but what is your least favorite Pokemon? I'm guessing maybe Exeggutor because he looks ugly. My least favorite is... Let's keep going. I'm not a geek of Pokemon trivia, but do you understand why all these four Pokemon could be considered to be the first one? Rhydon, Bulbasaur, Arceus, and Mew. Just some cool popular culture. Okay, so Gunner didn't answer this question, but people in chat did. So literally, because they are all first in some way, haha, uh -huh, that's just not specific enough. And you gonna tell us? And then I responded. I said, you tell me, guys. All these four Pokemon could be considered to be the first one. And yes, I got some cool answers, which were actually correct. And there you go. Raiden is the first Pokemon without question, then Raiden is the first design, 
Bulbasaur first in the Pokedex, Mew the first Pokemon, and Arceus because he's godlike. Yes, Arceus is the creator actually. That's the that's the correct answer. We keep going. Great answers, yes, that's what I said. Which of the three phases of the game is the hardest to learn? Movement, menuing, or combat? Again, super technical question. But he knows. And a maniac knows, of course. He's just now trying to manipulate a turtle but after that, he he will answer me. I'll practice my extra careful. Let's just wait. We'll get a super good answer, full of wisdom. All right, last try. He's gonna get it now, and we'll have our answer. Just wait for it. I don't know. Okay, here um, we go. Um, menuing, I guess, and it's not really close. At least in this game. There's only a f like a few fights that you have to think at all, really. The movement is just practicing. Yeah. So now I apologize to him, just in case I was bothering him. There you go. Let's wait for it. You know, he, he's not even playing right now. He's just trying to calm down. And I said, I might be distracting you. I'm, s I'm sorry, Gunner. No, I mean... Oh, it's annoying getting stuck in the early game, though. Yeah, so he was stuck in the early game. Uh, that was the problem, really. Now my last... Well, my next question is, is Whitney or Karen more scary in this run? Whitney, and it's not close. At all. Alright. Someone defends me in chat. He says, Karens are always scary nowadays. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and Gunner doesn't agree. And my last question is, are you also one of the best in the world in the face of routing? Do you enjoy figuring that out? Yes. No, I'm not. I suck at routing. I can't route. I can't just. I don't know. I can't route in a, in on a blank slate, like out outside the box type thinking. But I can improve an existing route. I'm good at that. Like practically, I guess. Play the route, see what's wrong with it, improve it. Oh, yes, the answer was yes, but... <laughs> hey, boy, if you remember that stream. Oh, yes, I said, I think you've done it live in the past. I mean, routing. And yes, I remember that stream. When I routed X Attack in yellow. Yep. It was a 12-hour stream where we, we realized that the badge boost from X Attack could be used in a few places to outspeed things and therefore basically be 2x items. Get a whole route around that. There you go. History literally, literally in the making. That's my last comment. But that route wasn't refined. But X Attack did have its place in many yellow routes for sure. Perhaps currently? I have no idea. I don't remember anymore. Probably not, actually. So that's it. That was the last question. We did it, guys. I'm the world record holder when it comes to interviewing Gunner Mania. And I'm super proud of that. 